Hi everyone, thanks for watching our presentation. My name is Aneta Texler and I'm excited to talk about our paper FaceBullet Instant Real-Time Example-Based Style Transfer to Facial Videos. This project was created at CTU in Prague in collaboration with SNAP and I thank all my co-authors. Imagine we have a style exemplar image of a human portrait and a target facial video. We want to paint this sequence in the given style. But how to do it efficiently? Several approaches dealing with this task were published recently. One of them is Fisher et al.'s non-parametric guided texture synthesis that secures semantically meaningful style transfer, perfectly preserves subject's identity and the visual richness of the style exemplar. However, the preparation of such guidance is computationally very expensive. Also, the style transfer algorithm itself is very slow due to its optimization nature. Hence, it is not possible to obtain stylized video in real time. In 2019, Fuchik et al. presented a learning-based style transfer algorithm capable to reproduce the output of Fisher et al.'s page-based method in high quality and in real time. However, there are several drawbacks. For each new style, there are time-consuming steps in dataset preparation and training the network, which take several days. Moreover, the inference requires a powerful desktop GPU, so real-time performance cannot be achieved on a CPU or a mobile device. In contrast to mentioned methods, recently released Secra et al.'s example-based style transfer algorithm can deliver high-quality high results even on a single-core CPU. This algorithm uses normal maps as a guidance to copy chunks of the style exemplar to the target image in real-time. However, to preserve subject's identity during the face stylization, guidance needs to be provided, which is costly to compute, and thus the advantage of fast tablet algorithm is unreachable. Our aim is to design a system that delivers results with the same visual quality as mentioned methods, but without expensive uh, computation. To achieve this, we propose to approximate the slow guidance channel preparation of Fisher et al. and extend the efficient algorithm of Sikra et al. to perform the style transfer. In the Fisher et al.'s approach, four guiding channels are used to dry the synthesis and their computation takes tens of seconds on a desktop. We reduce this guidance to positional and appearance guides that are essential for semantically meaningful style transfer and identity preservation. We also propose how to change the computation of these two channels to be possible to generate them on the fly and achieve real-time style transfer. The positional guide is a crucial component for ensuring the semantically meaningful style transfer, which means that chunks from the style exemplar are transferred to corresponding locations in the target image. Obtaining the positional guide for the style exemplar is straightforward. All pixels are simply set to a color determined by their coordinates. To create target's positional guide, we detect facial landmarks in style exemplar as well as in the target frame using the method of Kazemi et al. Based on these sets of points, we compute a warping field between the source and target face using the moving least squares method of Schaeffer et al. This warped gradient is the desired target's positional guide. Note that the blue points and the white mesh are shown only for illustration purposes. As mentioned, a key role of the appearance guide is to preserve the identity of the target subject. We found that costly operations of the Fisher et al. method can be approximated by a computation of only a single Laplacian pyramid level. In the first step, the original images are converted into grayscale domain and filtered using Gaussian blur. To simulate the result of Laplacian of Gaussian filter, we subtract the blurred images from their originals. 
the appearance guide of the style is finished. And the histogram of the target's appearance guide is then matched to the styles one, which is a very important step. The last step in the preparation of guiding channels is a phase segmentation. We propose to take the advantage of landmarks that we already detected in the previous step. First, we connect jaw points, show as the red curve, then we connect left and right uppermost jaw points using an ellipse, shown as the green curve. This very quickly delivers the segmentation of the lower face. To include segmentation of the forehead, we sample color components along the green curve and use the fast color thresholding operation and the connected component analysis to determine the boundary between skin and hair. Here is how the segmentation mask looks like. Once the guiding channels are computed, the stylization algorithm aims to transfer as large as possible coherent chunks of a texture from the style to the target frame. First, we pick a location in the target image around which the chunk will be found. This seed pixel consists of red, green and grey components. For the efficient style transfer, we need to be able to instantly find the closest seed pixel in styles guiding channels. Hence, we propose to use a 3D lookup table that maps all possible combinations of red, green and grey intensities to the coordinates of the closest seed pixels in the style guidance. Note this lookup structure as well as the styles guiding channels are pre-computed. Based on the error metric computed on guiding channels, all pixels around the seed that fall below the defined threshold create a chunk. See the blue shape for illustration. Finally, we copy the chunk from the style to the target frame and repeat this process until the output image is covered completely. Note that all chunks can be efficiently found in parallel. Refer to our paper and Sikora et al's algorithm for details. This whole process is applied on each frame of the input video. Here are the results of our algorithm that allows to instantly transfer an artistic style from a painting to a target video stream in real time while preserving target's identity and textural details of the style. It works on various styles and it does not have to be a painting. It can be, for the instance, a photo of a bronze sculpture. Here we demonstrate the importance of individual guiding channels. On the left we show the result without the positional guide where the missing information causes that chunks are not transferred from corresponding locations. Without the appearance guide the stylization is semantically meaningful but the identity of target subject is not preserved at all. The result with our full guidance is shown on the right. To test the quality of our approximation of appearance guide, we plug the complex appearance guide of Fisher et al. into our pipeline. The result is on the right. We also generated the result with no appearance guide, which is shown on the left. The middle result with our appearance guide is significantly better than the left result and reaches the quality of the right result. We also tested the influence of the histogram matching on the quality of identity preservation. The difference is significant. See the left result, where the histogram of the target's appearance guide is not matched to the histogram of the style's appearance guide. And on the right, uh, see the result where the histograms are matched.
we can transit between identity and style preservation by controlling the threshold during the computing of individual chunks. In case we set the threshold to zero, all chunks are forced to be just one pixel, which underlines the identity, but the result loses all the high frequency details of the style. By increasing the threshold, we interpolate from small chunks to larger ones. This emphasizes the style's details but suppresses the target's identity. Here is the comparison of our results and methods of Fisher et al. and Fuchik et al. Overall, our method delivers comparable results and presents a good approximation when computational budget is low and real-time inference is required. To mimic a look of living painting, or in this case a statue, we propose the following hybrid extension. We subdivide the statue into a set of separate layers, torso, face, beard and hair. To preserve the identity, the facial layer is animated using our approach. To animate other layers, we use moving least squares deformation driven by a set of control points, shown as yellow dots, that are derived from the detective landmarks. All layers are then blended in the predefined depth order to create a final composition. Finally, here is a live demo running on a mobile phone. To demonstrate the practical aid of our technique, we implemented a prototype mobile application. Here, you pick a painting and the style transfer begins. To keep things really simple and the app portable across multiple platforms and devices, this particular implementation doesn't use GPU. Moreover, all computations are happening on a single CPU core. If you are curious, follow the link below. We released the GitHub repository so you can try it yourself. Thank you for your attention.